Okay, this is a uh, 28 by 70, I believe. Uh, might be a 28 by 76. Four bedroom, two bath, uh, land home package. This is the uh, side of the home facing the drive. Large back deck. Uh, has the rock skirting. The uh, vinyl's all in good shape, with the exception of a little hole right there on the end. So we need one piece of vinyl there. It's set up really high. Looks good up high. There's a sewer clean out. Got a large front deck also. All the vinyl's in really good shape. The roof is in great shape. I went through the front door here. Now this is a view of what's around the yard. Back to the house. Going in the front door into the living room and the uh, dining room or dining area. Has wainscoting uh, built in throughout the living room and the living areas. Uh, ceiling fan, chandelier, chandelier. Chandelier is a brand of home. It's a uh, built in hutch cabinet. Great looking stacked stone fireplace. Ceiling fan over to the kitchen area. Large kitchen with an island. Built in stereo. This is me standing at the fireplace looking around. Utility room is through there. We'll go down through there in a second. All of the drywall is in good shape in the house. Um, could use some new Formica on the countertops or even putting some Corian in or something would be a fantastic touch. It's got a nice skylight, which is not leaked. It's going into the master bedroom, large master bedroom. It's uh, probably 14 feet wide by uh, 18 to 20 feet long. Huge closet which you're not going to be able to see but I'll try to bring my flashlight next time so you can see this better but uh, that that room there is probably half the size of the um, master bedroom try to stay out of the mirror here this is the master bath Got a one piece tub and shower. Looks like that's in great shape. Toilets are in good shape. This is the uh, linen closet across from the commode. Mirrors here. This is the vanity area. Going back out. Like I said, this is a four bedroom, two bath. Uh, there's a hole in the drywall there. So what I would do if this was mine, I'd um, patch that and paint the whole room. Uh, the carpet seam is bad there. Really, it could use new flooring. Um, wood would look absolutely fantastic in here. This is going into the utility room. In, in the utility room, as soon as you come in the back door, there's a utility room and then there's a half bath here. Which is nice for kids. If you have kids outside playing, they can come wash up before they come in the rest of the house. Some uh, built-in cabinets here in the utility room, as well as a uh, space 
easily fit a uh, deep freeze there. And this is the top of the that panel right there goes over that plumbing. out the back door very large rear deck the stack for the fireplace looks like it's in good shape it's a little bunny rabbit right there have rabbits in your backyard it's hard to see Anyway, uh, this is the rear of the house. AC needs to be replaced, which we can handle. Going back in through the utility room, into the den, over to the living area, living room. And on this side, away from the master bedroom, which is nice, are the kids' rooms. Or the second, third, and fourth bedroom, I should say. So full bath there, which is tough to see because I got here late. This is uh, bedroom number three in the back. They've replaced one panel of drywall there. She needs to be uh, finished out and painted. Nice size closets. In the secondary bedrooms. Furnace is there. Air return. And the blue room is going to be a little tough to see because it's dark. But all fantastic size rooms. We had an anger management issue here, I think. Looks like a fist. Looks like maybe a weak fist. And maybe a head or body. Just kidding. But the doors are, uh, a couple doors need to be replaced. But fantastic looking home. Uh, very low payment. Right in Taylor's. Very close to downtown Greenville. Um, that closet is certainly big enough for a nursery. If you and a small child. So, there you have it.